The Victorian government will undergo a major cabinet reshuffle following the resignation of four of its most senior ministers. Reporter Nicole Asher joins us now from Melbourne. Nicole, what did the Premier have to say about today's mass resignation? Thanks, Kirsten. Well, yeah, look at what is being called the mass resignation has delivered a significant blow to the Premier's senior lineup. Among those leaving are the Deputy Premier James Molino, the Police Minister Lisa Neville, the Health Minister Martin Foley, and the Sport Minister Martin Pakula. Also in the lineup uh, leaving, and we knew this already, is the Planning Minister Richard Wynne, but all five of these people, they've all stepped down from their portfolios today. Now, the Premier has taken the opportunity to thank them for for their service and also say there is a chance for renewal within the front bench and within his senior team. But let's take a listen to the Premier speaking earlier. It's very difficult to do justice to their contribution uh, from this podium, but I thank them for the people they are, for the politicians they are uh, and for the reform and change that they have driven and the key role that they've played in our government uh, and in our state. Each of them can be very, very proud. As you mentioned, one of the key ministers stepping down is the Premier's deputy, James Molino. Who is likely to follow him in that role? The announcement that he is stepping down came as a bit, bit of a surprise. You know, some of these people who have decided to step down, less so. We know that Lisa Neville has been going through some health issues over the past few years, and Martin Pakula lost his seat in the redistribution, so they were needing to find a new place for him. But but James Molino came as quite the surprise. Now, Jacinta Allen has been put forward as his replacement. She's currently the Transport Infrastructure Minister. Um, so, you know, that needs to go through caucus and to be rubber stamped, but it sounds like that's fairly much a, a done deal. Um, James Molino today, he was talking about just the, the weight of this decision. Um, he is still fairly, he's, he's a fairly young man, but he has say, he was saying he's spent half his life in politics. Um, you know, he's got, he's got a partner and children and he was talking about the burden of being in politics um, on, on them, you know, particularly, you know, his wife's career having to take at times a, a back step and his kids not being able to, you know, see their dad at the dinner table every night and such. But let's take a listen to just what he went through to come to this decision decision. Time comes for everyone and in politics uh, sometimes that's beyond your control. You lose pre-selection, you lose your seat at the election. Um, for some lucky ones, and, and I consider myself incredibly lucky, we get, we get to call time in our career. And there's never, there's never a right time. Like this is, it, this is hard. It's hard to leave um, my beloved portfolios of education and mental health. Um, it's hard to do it. Uh, but there does time, come a time for everyone. And so, Nicole, what is known about the likely makeup of the reshuffled ministry? announce a new senior leadership team. Um, among them, there's Natalie Hutchins. She's currently the Corrections Minister. She'll take on Health. And Marianne Thomas, who's the Agriculture Minister, she'll take on the Education Portfolio. There's also Ben Carroll, Danny Pearson and Lily D'Ambrosio. Now, there is a caucus meeting tomorrow at about 10 o'clock. They'll be meeting here in Melbourne to, um, I guess, nut out the exact lineup of the Cabinet and the Ministry going forward. Um, so we're here at some point tomorrow. Um, what the what the leadership team and and the ministry will look for look like going towards the election, which is only five months away now, um, in late November, um, and the premier was saying that that new ministry will be sworn in on Monday or Tuesday, possibly uh, depending on the availability of the governor here, Kirsten. Okay, Nicole Asher in Melbourne. Thank you.